DJ Vlad kind of sort of apologizes to Shannon Sharp for questioning the amount of revenue he got off the infamous Cat Williams interview. Let's listen. I, I can't say anymore. I, I'm probably already in trouble for mentioning it to a, uh, well, we, we call you normies. Well, 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 the title of this video that I'm going to react to today is DJ Academics gets DJ Vlad to apologize to Shannon Sharp. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Whatever. Whatever, then I'm wrong. You got me now. You got me now. You got me now. Oh, you figured me out. Now, this is another long-form interview that, of course, he has with DJ Academics. He comes on his uh, interview platform a lot. And DJ Academics schools DJ Vlad on how Shannon Sharp made his money off of this interview. Now, for context, or I guess for in my opinion, rather, DJ Vlad knew this, but he acts like he didn't know it. And the way he's gonna explain it, you probably, you the viewer probably already knows how Shannon Sharp made his money, all right? But I'm not gonna give up the ghost. We're gonna react to this video, all right? So before I get into it, for all of you, stop playing the video, ninjas. For all of you, pause, stop pausing the video, ninjas. Get out, get out, get the stepping. A link will be in the description box for this video so you can watch without my commentary or criticism. There will also be a thumbnail in front of the video because if I don't do that, DGA Vlad will of course take this video down as he does with everybody that plays the video in their content using his stuff, all right? So with that being said, fair use. I did hear you talk about this. You were definitely wrong about the Shannon Sharp thing though. 100%. I was wrong? Yes. Really? So yes. he's made millions off that Cat Williams interview? Facts. Really? Explain. Uh, how so? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I want to know how I'm wrong. Okay, so... Clearly I'm monetizing wrong if, if he's able to, well, to pull that so off. So off of a three-hour interview, uh huh. there's about 60 to 70 million views, right? Uh, you, you could look up the main interview. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is also... 40 to 50 million of those other parts. There's there's one clip that is part of the first interview, but they dropped that as like, hey, he's going in on Steve Harvey. 10 million, right? These are like half an hour to an hour. Just like you, a three-hour interview you monetize for 60 million views. That you're definitely, let me see. You're definitely pushing over half a million close to, um, it, it, and, and it depends too. YouTube doesn't work the same for everybody as well. Before we continue, DJ Vlad, you of all people know what DJ Academics is talking about. Bitch, ain't no way, ain't no fucking way. You take one, and DJ Vlad has made his life long work off of this, 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 this concept, this way of making money. Every live streamer does the same thing. You take a three to two or three hour live stream or a two or three hour interview, okay? And you dice it up into other, you know, five to 10 minute clips. And that way you're able to monetize this one interview like 20 times, okay? You separate the questions or, or if you're doing a live stream, you separate the segments with a slight little introduction or whatever to it. Okay, and you're able to monetize this three hour, two or three hour segment multiple times. DJ Vlad has done this throughout his entire career on this platform. Matter of fact, he doesn't even release the actual, the actual full clip until that he's done monetizing all the clips. He doesn't release the full three hour segment until he's done monetizing with all the other clips. That's what he does. This segment right here with DJ Academics, this is one of, this is like number, this is part five. He's going to have like 10 different parts of this interview he's going to release. And then when he's done releasing all the clips, then at the end, he'll release the full interview. He, what the fuck is DJ Vlad talking about? Bitch, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Let's continue. For just $5 a month, please consider becoming a member of Welcome to Normieville. There you will find access to members-only videos and members-only live streams, as well as a host of other perks. Thank you for your consideration. Back to the video. That's from anywhere from at least half a million on the low end, all the way to like 1.2, could be 1.5. I wouldn't say 1.5, but that, again, 
interviews, interviews can be monetized differently, but also, like, I've, I've argued with people about Mr. Beast. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing those, those numbers that you're talking about. Right, the, main right, interview right, hold got, hold on. the main interview got 73 million. There is... That's, that's, that's a million dollars left. That's 73 million. million is not a million dollars. On a three-hour interview, lad? Yes, it is. 100%. A three-hour interview? On a three-hour three interview? Watch, yeah, if they watch the entire thing from start to finish, maybe. But in general, most people the watch The watch time on that thing is going to be at least like 30 minutes on average. Okay. For some of you that are not familiar with how YouTube works, right, let's say... This video I'm doing right now, right? This video will probably run 20, 25 minutes because this, uh, this segment, I have to break up for YouTube censorship, right? And guidelines, all that bull. The watch time on this video might be five to eight minutes, depending on how long somebody watches this video before they click off of it and go to something else. Okay, now I'm bored now and click off something else because their, their, their time, you know, the, the attention span of people in general, okay? So what he's saying is, off a three-hour interview for somebody like Cat Williams, for somebody of his, you know, intrigue, people are going to watch it for at least 30 minutes to maybe an hour before they click off of it. If you get that many people, this is a 50 million people view this video, this that that interview, okay? Depending on how long they watched it, that's how many ads ran on that video, okay? He might have actually made a million dollars off of just the interview without even the cuts, Vlad is questioning that, but you don't know his analytics. That interview might just have made him a million dollars alone before he diced it up. But again, DJ Vlad is acting like, oh, well, I don't see it. In my opinion, DJ Vlad is just hating. Let's continue. That's a million dollars. Vlad. Listen, what, I, what I've heard is that, I, I, is that, I, I, is that I, maybe I, he's made some money off the liquor. I, wait, wait, maybe no, there's I, some red ads Let's in break there, the fourth so wall. Forth. Let's yeah. break the fourth wall. Yeah. If you have a successful, and this is for anybody who has a YouTube channel in good standing. We're not talking about you're in a preferred program, nothing crazy. If you have a YouTube channel in good standing and you have a three-hour interview with a good watch time that went viral in the culture that a lot of people are going to watch. Not only that, by the way, if you have that type of interview, you 100% through your network has something called content ID. Which means anybody else who uses that th th those clips, they get flagged. Oh, I, how do I know? I can't watch it on stream anymore. They cut my stream. Yeah, you know, I flag all my stuff. Yeah. Okay. DJ Vlad said he flags all his stuff, which is the reason why I have the thumbnail in front of the, when I start playing the video, so that you only hear the audio. Because if you play his actual video, or you actually yeah, put his way, if you use his content. For some people, if you use their content, they'll just do like a partial, like demonetization of where, okay, you can still watch, you can still play the video, but any AdSense you get from it is going to go to the content creator and not you. What DJ Vlad does, Vlad doesn't want you to use his content at all. So if you use his video, he's going to flag your video and you'll get a, uh, pretty much you're going to get a, a channel strike to where, and if you get three of those, you get taken off of YouTube. All right. The first one, you get demonetized. You know, you got to reapply and do a whole bunch of, jump through a bunch of hoops. The second time, same thing. The third time, you're done. That's what Jay Vlad does. Other people like Mark Dice, they all they do the same thing. If you use their content, they don't want anybody using their content at all. They want strictly for them. And they have that right. But because of that, that's why I'm doing this. Because it's happened to me before trying to use DJ Vlad's stuff too. And Mark Dice. I try to use their content. And guess what happened? I got, phew, the video got taken down and I got a strike on my channel. So that's why when I use certain people's content, I have a thumbnail in front of it. That's to keep me in good standings with YouTube. So, so what that happens is that we have to count views that we're not seeing on the main channel. But let's just only think about the main channel. On the low end, you're gonna get like a, about a thousand, uh, um, a million, a million um, streams, or a million views. It's gonna be like about four thousand, five thousand dollars. Okay, we're talking about all monetizable. We're not talking about yo, this shit turned green late. We're talking about it from the jump that's been lit. So on the low end, four to five thousand. On a good, because now when YouTube picks up something that's now trending. They give it and start hitting it with different ads. 
You're not getting that 4,000, 5,000 rate no more. You're getting around eight to nine. Now, if you're Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast 100% gets 20,000, at least 4 million views. 100%. They're giving him top tier ads. He's getting the Pepsis. He's he's not getting, you, you ever watch our videos? You see some bullshit ad, like what the <laughs> fuck is this? He's not getting that. He's getting the, he's getting the premiere stuff. So they're, now, what DJ, Vlad, what, DJ, what DJ Academics is talking about is what type of ads play during your videos. Now, if you're watching my video and an ad pops up, you might get something for like, I don't know, Timu or uh, some type of new product or something, you know, something on the low end, which is it's still an ad, but certain companies pay more money for their ad if they run it on your video. What he's saying is some of the higher tier, like DJ Vlad, like Shannon Sharp, like Mr. Beast, like DJ, like other people like that, people that have you no know, tens of millions of subscribers, they're getting the Pepsi ad. They're getting ads from like McDonald's. They're getting ads from companies that pay a lot of money. So the more money that ad people pay for the, the, the bigger the ad, the more money you get for playing it on your video. So what he's saying is, Shannon Sharp might have gotten top tier ads for the stream, for the interview, and all the cuts too. Also means more money. Again, DJ Academics is breaking it down. Yes, Vlad, he got paid buku bucks for this interview. You might not want to say that because he's your competition in the interview space, but he got that pay in premier numbers so what i'm trying to say is that above the the minimum the minimum is four to five i'm saying 10 so let's just work off of 10 so if there's 73 million views right keep in mind it's three hours i think it, this is a very magnanimous so that's already we're pushing near seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, right so there's ten thousand okay now add in the other 40 million views that's like almost another I'm half a million. 40 million. There's one clip that got 1.9, another clip did 1.9, one did 5.6, one did 8.9. And then it drops down Come to like 190,000 here, <laughs> 720,000 there. And then that's, that's pretty they much They repurposed it. and ate off this yeah, shit man, a listen, lot. Listen, listen. So, so hear what I'm saying. Hey, listen, if I I'm think... wrong, I'm wrong. Vlad, you're fucking wrong. Bitch, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Well, it. <laughs> The fact that, okay, again, we're four, almost four and a half minutes into this seven minute video of DJ Vlad. The fact that he had to explain all this to you for you to come out and just finally give up the ghost and apologize to me proves how much of a hater DJ Vlad is. DJ Vlad has been doing this for a very long time on YouTube. So how can you question that? Shannon Sharp made this amount of money off of YouTube when you literally make your money the exact same way that he did. You have videos on your channel that had that made that was viewed just as much as the Cat Williams interview that Shannon Sharp had. So how can you question how much money he made off of it? No, he hasn't been doing it as long as you have, but he's catching a lot of traction. All right. You can't deny that you can't dispute he made money off it like dj academic just said he ate off of that video the first one the main video the main three hour interview has 60 70 million views he's got millions of views off of the other cuts he's made money hand over fist off on that interview you can't deny that vlad stop it congrats, believe, to, Sh congrats to shannon man i believe there's no way they earn less than two million and okay. it's all the way possible, depending on how the network has played it. By the way, this is another thing, too. 100% they've made a million off of, off of content ID. Facts. Yeah, you might not get a strike on it, but they're taking all the revenue from the channel because that's you're using Okay. So, 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 all right. It, all that's right, so, going to so add up the millions. All right, so maybe we need to switch up because we just block everything. So maybe we just need to let other people run with it. And we'll just take their money. Well, they're going to do it for that type of interview. Yeah. For, okay. for that, all right, so fair just, enough. See, some places, like, if they're smart, you don't want to do it for everything. You do it for everything, people stop using content, right? They're going to be like, because I'm not going to make no money. They know that content is so fire, they have to use it. Okay. So sure. it's like, all right, then I, I use other Shannon Sharp stuff. He don't take my money, but this one, I get it. It's Cat Williams. So I'm yeah. telling you, they ran all it up. Right. A, okay, right. okay, so wait a minute. Listen, Shannon, listen, if I made a mistake, my bad. Wait, wait hold my on. My bad. I was, I was looking at it a little bit differently. My bad. I'm trying to show you a possible 
Yeah, no, now Five this got ten me, million dollar play. Yeah, no, listen, this has actually got me thinking because I remember one of the things that I learned from Trap Law Ross that I never really did for years and years was that if a, a YouTube video goes yellow, you could actually try to fight it. And yeah. then if it doesn't turn green at that point, there's actually a second way to fight it. Yeah, there, you, there, there, you gotta have a rock out green. Yeah, and now that's why our views you know, this year haven't really grown, but our revenue has because we're monetizing better. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, of course. Yeah, so, so, yeah, man, yeah, listen. So, and, and then here's the thing, too. Yeah. Ooh, you see, it, it, and you, and this is why I was shocked when you said that, too, because I would expect, like, the people that work for these big companies to say that. Because after you done bust down $5 million on YouTube, I'm bringing that junk to Facebook. I need three over there, too. Yeah. Facebook algorithms is sweet. It's, yeah. yo, it's, yo, it is sweet. So you're getting three well, over it's there. It's very or temperamental, or, though, man. It, it one, is. one wrong word in, in a Facebook video and everything will go down to zero. No, no, you're right. But think about it. This is the biggest interview we've seen in years. So you're going to get me. you got to get two Fair million enough. over there. All right. And, of course, what he's talking about is taking those cuts or promoting your content on other platforms. A lot of people do it. Twitter. Uh, is, a, is, a, is a big one a lot of people use. Uh, Facebook, some people use, even though it's, it's not very friendly to controversial content creators. Uh, now you can live stream on Instagram. So there are a lot of different ways people can monetize off of other platforms and help bring viewership, bring more subscribers to YouTube. Again, if you're big, even if you're small, you still want to do it now to make it in the habit of doing it. When I live stream, I live stream to Instagram and to X and Rumble. That's how you get your stuff out there. So, I mean, and again, and also, you no know, YouTube memberships, which, you know, hey, join my YouTube membership, by the way, $5 a month. But that's that's how you do it. Snapchat, okay. you got to get some okay. over there. Okay. You know, TikTok no, no, is no, buzzing no, it down, right, too. Right. I make Snapchat money also. All right, my bad. Shannon Sharp. <laughs> I apologize. I'm telling you. I, I'm going to publicly through a check. say, Shannon Sharp, I apologize. I have underreported what I thought you made. So clearly, my man academics has, has you know, cleared it, you know, cleared it up for me. So, yeah, you may have made that amount of money. And I wasn't hating. It was just from my point of view. I thought that the numbers was off based I'm on video- what I was. Okay, that, 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 that's enough. We don't have to do that. Well, I wasn't hating. Yes, you were. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. But it's okay. We, we understand. We understand. You, He's your competition. You didn't want to give him credit for it. Got it. But, in my opinion, DJ, DJ Academics is probably underreporting as well because he said he made more of that interview than he had, like, what, a season or two in the NFL Again, the hate is real. I, I don't have nothing else to say about it. DJ Vlad, he apologized. To me, it was kind of it was kind of backhanded, but apology nevertheless. Like I said, the fact that he that DJ Academics had to walk him through it like that, to me shows that he was hating, in my opinion. If because like all the stuff that DJ, DJ Academics said, even a low level content creator like myself knows, right? So. Why did it take DJ Academics to explain this to you for you to like, okay, well, maybe I was, maybe I was wrong. No, you were wrong. Maybe I was wrong. You were wrong, Vlad. But we got it. No problem, right? Small hat community, that's what happens, right? So, with that being said, thank you for attending another episode of Normieville. Ah, you know me, I'm just normally here to bring you the latest and greatest in sports, news, entertainment, and politics. Let me know what you think about DJ Vlad's apology to Shannon Sharp for under-reporting his revenue on the Cat Williams interview. Let me know what you think about this apology down in the comment section. And please, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell on your way out of the door. And I will see you on the next video.